Recently, an innovative stormwater research and demonstration project kicked off on the Port of Seattle's Terminal 91 in the Inner Bay area. The project, funded by King Conservation District and managed by Sustainable Seattle through a contract with Geologica and built by Splashbox, hopes to shed light on how bioretention planter boxes can improve stormwater treatment in commercial and industrial areas. I saw this, uh, a different one, but a uh, similar experimental garden two years ago down in the Port of Tacoma and came back and asked the staff at the Port of Seattle whether we could try and implement a similar project here. This experimental garden is one way that we can help ensure that we are not having rainwater carry toxins and heavy metals into Puget Sound. Yeah, about two years ago, I, I was working with Amy Waterman and Alessandra Suen with Geologica, and they had this idea to use uh, an experimental sand, volcanic sand, and we thought that together combining the sand plus the delivery system in Splashbox might be really intriguing and successful. So when the time came to write a grant for Sustainable Seattle, I said, hey, why don't we put the two together? We've got this new technology to treat stormwater in places where you can't dig in the ground, and we've got this interesting soil. Let's actually see how the boxes perform by testing what goes in when it comes out, and let's compare the two soils and see how they perform. Two different soils. Well, part of the test is to see if a mix of volcanic sand and compost works better to filter the stormwater runoff. The soil that they usually put in rain gardens or bioswales is, is a mix of compost and sand, and it's typically riverine sand. What we're doing in this case is replacing the riverine sand with volcanic sand. One of the first steps is to construct the large planter boxes themselves. Capital Industries uh, started business in 1953. It's a family-run business, and uh, we, have, we employ approximately 110 people. And so uh, we've undertaken the design, he's patented the design, and um, we've been fortunate enough to fabricate it for him. And one of the things we're trying to demonstrate with the box itself is that how they can, in an industrial setting, they can be very portable. Another issue was where to stage this project. It was great to work with the port um, and find a site where, you know, we could be out of everyone's way, but get uh, a great site in terms of um, sun and location and get it done. Took a little bit of time, but we finally found an appropriate spot that would meet the needs of the experiment and uh, would still uh, meet the needs of, of port business. The water going into each of the two boxes will undergo regular monthly monitoring in the fall and winter of 2014 and 2015. Results will be shared with the port and the public through Sustainable Seattle. The results, hopefully, will be informative to folks like the port, other large institutions that need to treat stormwater, need um, innovative ways to treat stormwater where in these kind of settings you can't, again, dig into the ground.